And okay. Hello. Okay, we are live. Yeah. Sorry, you were talking about. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Happy New Year, everybody. Welcome to another yes. stream of evening drama. Yes. Oh, I was just saying I was watching another person's stream, and then mm -hmm. they had a countdown, and then they used uh, a tool called StreamYard. And then what he could do was, um, in YouTube chat, like, people will ask questions, and then somehow he can magically bring people's, like, question up into the screen, along with their user icon, like, immediately. Okay. And I thought that was pretty neat. So I felt like it was a violation of my privacy, because I wasn't expecting that when I asked a question, and then my face <laughs> popped up. <laughs> and I was like, oh! Okay, well, that wasn't what I expected. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's this guy who's a, who's a minimalist, like extreme minimalist, who owns like, yeah. you know, less than 50 things and... Wow. What, and like, has very little money to his name, and is trying to uh, use YouTube to sustain himself. But the thing is, he's already got like hundreds of subscribers. Um, even though he just started, so I was very impressed. So I was asking him like how he managed to do that, like how do you manage to get so many followers from the very get go? Um, and then he said that he used to have a, another YouTube channel that he deleted. And I think that helps. It's like you, you had something else, and then you just uh, that would follow us, and you delete it. Um, and then also he he said that his topic is very trendy right now, extreme minimalism, and I think that's true because there's just so very few channels that really do that. Yeah, I think so. so. Yeah, so I think we need trendy keywords for our channel. Let's be let's trendy. See. Okay, let's Google what's <laughs> yeah. trendy. Uh, what's trendy? <laughs> that's terrible. That's so like the definition of trendy? not unique. Very fashionable or up to date. No, I didn't ask you, Google. I don't want the definition of a trend. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what's trendy right now? Uh, In 2021? Is that how can people know? It just started. Yeah, well, okay. And everything is like top fashion, top clothes, top... Trendy, trending topics. Let's see. 10 tools to find trendy topics up online. What? Buzzfeed. <laughs> Google Trends, yeah, okay. Explore what the world is searching. Okay, right now. Uh search. I'm curious what people are searching on YouTube. Can you search that? I think so. Not sure. Okay, twenty twenty in the US. Election results, coronavirus, Kobe Bryant, coronavirus update, coronavirus symptoms. <laughs> <laughs> For actors, it's uh, Tom Hanks, Chris D'Elia, Jada Pinkett Smith, Timothy Camelot. Oh, is Chris D'Elia about the, the, the pedophile stuff? Yeah, yeah. Did you wow, watch it you? Wow, top 10. Mm. Did you watch you on Netflix? No. So Is he on it? Yeah, yeah. He has a, like, a guest spot in season 2. And he plays oh. a character who preys on young girls. <laughs> <laughs> So I like, guess he doesn't need any actor training. Not yeah. that I'm saying he did it, because I'm using legit. <laughs> well, I mean that was funny when he was exposed as a pedophile, yeah. I, I don't know who Timothy yeah. Chamelet is. Oh, um, he's that um new actor who plays the main character in Dune remake, I think. He was on SNL recently as well. Is the Dune remake out? Oh, I saw the trailer. I don't know when it's out. Oh, I, I didn't know. But yeah. he's kind of got that, like, young, super young Johnny Depp look to him. Okay. And then it's I out, guess kids like... Uh, it's out this year, 1st October. Oh. Oh, it's already out? No, no. This, this year. year oh, like, this year. 2021. Oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I already forgot. <laughs> okay. Then there's uh, Ricky Gervais. Uh, how to's. How to cut men's hair at home. How to plop hair. How to color your it's hair at home. Hair? I don't know what plop hair means. How to wash how your to hands. Plop. How to style curtain bangs. <laughs> and, oh dear. Uh, All these uh, home oh, haircuts. Oh, plop, yeah. plop hair is... What's plop uh, hair? You wrap the towel around your head. Okay. That's it? You know, like... Uh, okay. It's like... I don't know. It seems like... Uh, you know, like when... In movies or TV shows, like... Like women come out of the shower... Mm -hmm. And they wrap the towels around their head. Teach that. 
I know how to well, do I'm, that. I need to just call plopping. Isn't it just know, like this, this... grabbing, turning? I don't know. It doesn't seem no, that hard. No, you first you bend over. <laughs> yeah, you <laughs> bend over and gather your hair. Yeah, so put the hair in front, put the towel behind your head, Okay. wrap it forward. And, and then you plop it, it behind? And then plop it behind, yes. You do that. I don't. You do that. Yes, this is the most efficient way to dry your hair. Really? How? Well, then, then you can wrap it up completely that way. So like the towel just soaks up the water while you leave it there? Yes, exactly. While you do other oh, okay. things. Like moisturize. <laughs> <and other laughs> <curly> <laughs> Okay. So yeah. now Speaking we know. Today, though, we, today we learn a new vocabulary. Plop. Yeah. Plop. Do you know about? Do you know the term theory? before you did it? No, I've never heard of that term before. Oh, I okay. So now we, that, we all learn something new today. <laughs> 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 it sounds vaguely racist. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, the next top searches um how to donate how to donate to Black Lives Matter. How to donate to oh. Australian bushfires. How to donate blood. How to donate to Georgia's Senate runoff. How to donate to Goodwill. I'm uh, uh, pleasantly surprised that that's a top search. That gives me more hope for humanity. <laughs> Next one is how to style. How to style curtain bangs. How to style curly hair. How to style biker shorts. How to style box braids. How to style long hair men. <laughs> Movies. Parasite. 1917, Black Panther, oh, Harley Paris Quinn, still Birds of Prey, Little Women. I mean, this, this is, is for year, yeah the whole year of 2020. So I guess people yeah, search for it a lot. Wait, Parasite was last year or 2019? Last year, right? No? Eh? Actually, I don't know. I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, I still haven't seen Last year was just a blur. Is a recipe. 2019. Yeah. I mean, but last year was... was last was a blur. Because last year I didn't even go to the cinema. I don't remember going to the cinema at all. That's true. I mean, maybe I think it came out on streaming last year, per- perhaps. Yeah. Ah, probably. Okay, then politicians: Joe Biden, Kamala Harris, Boris Johnson, Pete Buttigieg. I don't know. Mike Bloomberg. TV Who's shows. Huh? <laughs> Tiger King. Boot edge edge. Oh, boot edge edge. What? <laughs> yeah, that's how he gives you as a. As a hint, a mnemonic. Okay. Like a boot, and then an edge, and then an edge. Because I think it makes him sound tougher that way. Than <laughs> <laughs> uh, he was in the military. Uh, lyrics. Wap. <laughs> W-A-P, yes, yes, yeah. Must not. <laughs> the Box, Godzilla, Gooba, Break My Stride. I only know Wap. I don't know anything else. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know anything else. Musicians either. and bands Shakira, August, Alcina, Adele, Doja Cat, Grimes. Alright. Uh, sports teams Boston Celtics, Miami Heat, Kansas City Chiefs, Los Angeles Clippers, Dallas Stars. Virtual. Virtual field trips, virtual museum tours, virtual Kentucky Derby, virtual learning, virtual NBA fans. Did you do any virtual searching? Uh. Not real, not that I can recall. But I was um, talking about the Oculus Quest Two with friends last night. Mm-hmm. And I'm thinking about getting one. Okay. You get ads for that after that. Huh? You get ads for that after that. <laughs> oh, funny. Hmm. <laughs> you did. Possibly, I will get ads soon. Um, it's hard to say because I use AdBlock for everything except Instagram. So but if Instagram, which is owned by Facebook as well, starts advertising the Oculus to me, then we know. But you don't have AdBlock on your phone, right? I use Firefox Focus, which has built-in AdBlock. I mean, that's only for the browser, but not for yeah. other apps, though. Like Facebook and I don't Instagram. really use apps with... Yeah, so the only app I use... Oh, well, actually, that's not true. Twitter. Twitter is the other one. Mm, yeah. But these tend to give... Twitter tends to give me a lot of fast food ads. It keeps <laughs> thinking I want McDonald's. Yeah. Because um, <laughs> you do. Told it I, don't <laughs> <want> <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> you don't have to tell me to eat McDonald's every single day. Um, and then uh, Instagram tends to give me small shops. I love small shops. Okay. Yeah, so we'll see. Yeah. I mean, I get yeah, a lot yeah. of... Random like AliExpress or Lazada apps on uh, Instagram. 
Yeah, I do. With the objects that are clearly not what they say it's for. <laughs> I don't know if you get the same ads. Yeah, I, you do. Like, they're not, they're not but, safe for work ads. I get, like, yeah, but, I mean, crushless why? underwear, like, <laughs> nightgowns, you know? Like, what the fuck? It's not for me. <laughs> I guess it's for me to buy for oh. people, but... <laughs> Well, at least those make more sense. Like mine, I like. I don't know. Maybe they know that increases engagement because I'm just looking at it, going, "What? No, that totally is." And not then you it. share your friends, right? You're like, "What the fuck? Look at what they sent me." Exactly. <laughs> exactly. I'm falling so into their trap. Effective. Yeah. Yeah, but a lot of the things from Wish.com are so so junky, though. It's like a crappier version of AliExpress to me. Oh, yeah, I've heard about Wish, but never shopped on there. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh yeah, they, they, they show those ads. <laughs> where to buy? Where to buy PS Five? Where to buy toilet paper? Where to buy face masks? Oh. Where to buy Xbox Series X? Where to buy hand sanitizer? Kind of standard, I guess. <laughs> during coronavirus, best stocks to buy during coronavirus. Dating during coronavirus. Dentist open during coronavirus. Unemployment during coronavirus. Jobs hiring during coronavirus. Seems about right. Well, <laughs> yep, seems about right. Except the dating one. I didn't expect like so many people to Google that. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay, then uh let's see. These are non English. Uh election results uh for news. Election results, coronavirus, stimulus checks, unemployment and Iran. Hmm. Mm. Yeah. Babies. Elon Musk baby. He had a baby? I didn't even know that. Yeah, so he named it something super weird that's unpronounceable. Oh, really? I thought he. Yeah, I'm I thought gonna he wasn't Google like it. Yeah. Elon. I thought he wasn't. Yeah, that he had to change baby. it back. Right? Then he. Yeah. Oh, shit. X A E A 12. <laughs> <laughs> but the A E is pronounced something else. Yeah, right? I'm, I'm guessing. Just, it's yeah. like the combined A E, you know, whatever that yeah. alphabet is. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yes. Holy shit. I, I feel like you I find it really funny. I find it really stupid. Yeah, I mean, well, if the baby doesn't like it, he can change it when he's older. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Okay, the uh, AE is pronounced as a long E. E. Or long A. What? Yeah. Long A or long E? Aren't they different? I, I think it's uh, somewhere in between, right? Kind of like the um, episode of How I Met Your Mother. I don't remember. Do that. you remember where um the oh so it's supposed to sound like uh, like uh, when you say the word half h a v yeah half. that and and yeah like it's supposed to like be like encyclopedia yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah isn't it encyclopedia like I don't no know. the original word is a oh, I think. okay okay uh yeah. <laughs> baby platypus ice age baby Anderson Cooper baby baby nut oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Definitions: warp, entanglement, antebellum, pandemic, asymptomatic. <laughs> uh, how to make? How to make hand sanitizer? How to make a face mask with fabric? How to make whipped coffee? How to make a mask with a bandana? How to make a mask without sewing? Donut coffee. Yeah. Mm, Lost. Oh. Hmm? I don't know. Those like uh. Those DIY kind of stuff reminded me of this video I watched this afternoon. Uh, I'm not sure you remember, like, there was a question posted on Reddit, like, a while ago, I think, about um, whether you could cook a chicken by slapping it. (laughs) What? Because, like, like, the idea is, like, um... The heat? Kinetic energy? Yeah, you convert kinetic energy to heat, right? So, like, Uh people are doing a lot of math and saying, like, oh, you need to slap it, like... (laughs) Uh, this hard or this fast and stuff. So like a lot of the the math was like, uh, impractical for like you know for like uh, to actually tr- test it out right. So this YouTuber like uh, put it to the test lah, using like uh more doable methods. Okay. But I didn't get to the end of the video yet, so I'm not sure if he was successful. But it's really funny. He like attached like a, it's like a rotor with a glove and like. He just kept slapping the chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Watch that. But, yeah. but it was actually quite, uh, it was quite impressive. <coughs> I think like, uh, you could, right? Because he was measuring the temperature. 
and like it, uh, at one point before his machine failed, like he got it up to like ninety something degrees. Okay. So like you know, presumably if he had a more durable machine. It must have been slapping could... real hard and real fast, right? Uh, I'm not sure how fast, but yeah, I'll link the video later. If okay, I find cool. It. We'll watch it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's so cool. Okay. Yes, T I L. Yeah. Loss. <coughs> Excuse me. Kobe Bryant. Naya Rivera. You in a non denominational atheist way. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> who, I, I don't know who Naya Rivera is. It's the Glee oh. girl, the girl from Glee. Girl Which one? Died. The uh, one of the cheerleaders. Okay. Yeah, Santana, that's me. I don't remember. Her. Yeah. Uh, Chadwick Boseman, George Floyd, Ruth Bader Ginsburg. I don't know who that is either. It's the Supreme oh, Court judge. The Supreme Court. Oh, okay. Who also passed away. Yeah. And then uh, near me, COVID testing near me, early voting near me, fires near me. Voting near me, protest near me. <laughs> Recipes: sourdough bread, whipped coffee, Disney churro, Dole Whip. I don't know what Dole Whip is. Double tree cookie. Oh, Dole Whip is the uh, yeah, uh, pineapple ice cream with uh, soft serve. I'm sorry, pineapple pieces with soft serve. That sounds good. Yeah. I like pineapple. We don't have enough pineapple oh. in Malaysia. I feel. What? We do. People I mean, you can like, go heck? buy That's it. You what... can go buy it and eat yourself. No, I know, but like, as in, when you go to restaurants for desserts and stuff, Holly got pineapple, right? Oh, that's true. Yeah, like only place I get pineapple yes. is like pizza. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why people call it a sin or whatever. It tastes so good. I know. I'm. I'm also. Pro I think like it cuts through like the the grease really nicely. It's like exactly. nice burst of <laughs> Yeah. It's yes. Like... High five. That's our <laughs> one agreement for yeah, <laughs> yeah. pro <laughs> pro pineapple pizza. Yeah. Uh, Are you getting weird stares? <laughs> <laughs> no, because I, I just I just know that you have anti pineapple pizza. Oh. So. oh. Let me show eat it. But I try to keep it con- confined to my half of the piece. You can take her slice, <laughs> like her pineapple slices away. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, uh. TV shows: Tiger King, Cobra Kai, Ozark, The Umbrella Academy, The Queen's Gambit. I have not. Uh, Gosh, I'm so behind. I've only seen like one episode of Umbrella Academy. I haven't seen any of the other shows. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Where is where is my stimulus money? Where is my refunds? <laughs> where is Kansas City? <laughs> where is Beirut? Where is Shakira from? Why why is Shakira trending? She's like in two topics already. I know, right? I didn't I hear anything about her the whole year. That's crazy. Weird. I don't know. I mean, well, this is uh, American results. I don't know yeah, if you can... Yeah, but I don't remember yeah. her being in the news either. Okay, why? Why were chainsaws invented? <laughs> why is there a coin shortage why was George Floyd arrested why is Nevada taking so long taking so long to what oh to count the votes oh okay uh, why is TikTok getting banned <laughs> did it get banned in the end I I didn't follow up no, no they, they delayed they delayed it until basically they had a they had a time to like complete the filing of the lawsuit or something like that so mm. they um they basically didn't exercise the option lah so okay so um, nothing happened it, it's still it, running as normal it's not to say like they are off the hook it's just basically they didn't bother to go through with the filing or something like that lah okay so uh they, i think they could do it again if they wanted to but for now i guess tiktok is not banned <laughs> my my mom is looking at TikTok a lot. Yeah. I'm concerned. Oh dear. But well, well, at least from what I've read, uh, they said the TikTok like algorithm is pretty good. <clears throat> they they like suggest you videos you enjoy watching. Yes, and yeah. the thing is, she doesn't really know how to search, so it really works well for her. It's essentially it's on an autoplay forever. Yeah. Um. So like. Yeah. Whatever she. I guess I I'm not sure how they I'm guessing it's like how long they spend 
watching a video before swiping away and yeah. stuff like that yeah and who they follow if they follow anyone i don't know if you remember like uh, was it last year or the year before like tiktok algorithm was like found to be only recommending um so-called attractive people mm-hmm. oh i don't i didn't know that yeah but i guess that's why i get attractive girls all the time <laughs> i mean like, the idea is like you know like oh you see like a hot girl or hot guy or whatever yeah then you're like more inclined to watch it right mm-hmm. yeah yeah all right uh let's see the rest is like is spanish no the rest are in spanish which i won't attempt oh, okay. to pronounce wait let's see let's try to change it to malaysia google trends exactly I yeah see what malaysia okay we'll see what was trending in malaysia uh oh my god it's in malay this is our year in review Char- <laughs> you're like oh no it's in malay okay you know, the just the topic headings are in malay uh charian u.s elections 2020 google classroom uh bantuan prihatin national the bpn it's this stimulus fun right sing it it's malaysia stimulus yeah then bsh i i guess is another stimulus fun as well and coronavirus recipe dalgona coffee dalgona milo <laughs> uh bis- <laughs> biscoff cheesecake kek tornado kek marble gelita i have no oh, idea marble, oh. che- marble cheesecake oh okay oh uh, good thing we have sing it on this show <laughs> exactly he knows all the news and the recipes yeah and he knows malay Gadget. No, but you say you say cake marble. It's like what else could it be? It's marble cheesecake, right? I don't know. Jolita. Uh, I, I, I have no I idea that Jolita funny. means cheese. I thought cheese was cheese. I thought cheese keju. Oh yeah, keju. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Jolita sounds like jelly to me. <laughs> yeah. Picks a, a, a non uh, non Malay. <laughs> Correct, uh, you're Malay. <laughs> okay, here. What? Uh, Let me Google it. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> cake Jolita cake I'm looking at it cake oh, no, I was wrong it's not a it's not a cheesecake oh you uh, you lie <laughs> it's a cake okay so that much I was right <laughs> yeah like oh, a, oh, obviously it's like, a, it's like a butter cake it's like a butter cake with with uh, marble marble patterns. okay <laughs> well, speaking of marble cake like how do they, they get the pattern is it just a random streak or do they do it on they, purpose they, they, they swirl it like you when you mix the thing you swirl like um like chocolate or whatever and then you don't you don't stir it fully so you leave it the streaks as it is ah uh, okay yeah all right uh gadgets realme 6 pro reviews malaysia <laughs> realme x 360x malaysia realme 6 review malaysia realme buds air review malaysia iphone 12 oh, i'm surprised iphone 12 realme. wasn't trending in malaysia in america yeah where Realme is trending in Malaysia. Uh, Bantuan Kewangan. Oh, Realme? Yeah. Uh, it's a Chinese brand, right? Sing it. Yeah. Yeah. They, oh, I never heard of it. Okay. It's like a, I think, budget-focused smartphone brand. Okay. Andrew says, Jolita means beautiful. Oh, Thanks. So beautiful marble cake. Yeah. Beautiful marble cake. <laughs> Thank right. you so much. <laughs> <laughs> I all of us need to go back to mal- remedi- remedial Malay class. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we need good viewers like Andrew. <laughs> exactly. Educated. Yeah. Successful. Bantuan Kewangan. Help. Something help. I don't know what Kewangan is. Government? Anyway, it's I the same. I think Kewangan is something to do with money, right? Because Wang is money. Oh yeah, money, money help, monetary help. I think so. The same financial uh, aid. Uh, financial aid. Financial aid. <laughs> <laughs> oh <my> God. <laughs> <laughs> just, just like revealing how bad. Oh, I mean, we never claimed to be good. I mean, we never said that we were good anyway. Yeah. <laughs> I know, but I didn't realize we were that terrible. Yeah, Andrew has confirmed. Kawangan is financial. So oh, BPN, uh, BSH, KWSP. That's uh, EPF, right? My salam LHDN Samakan. So Malaysians obviously care about money from the government. 
uh, COVID-19, coronavirus, COVID-19, Malaysia, thank you, coronavirus help us, coronavirus tips, coronavirus update. Standard? What tip? I don't know. How to get coronavirus. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, Barita news So US election 2020 Coronavirus uh, Barita Kawalan Bergerakan Bersyarat I guess another financial aid Bunchy 2020 Lebanon wow, I didn't even know any of the words in that one I couldn't <laughs> make an educated guess Okay uh, Shows Forensic <laughs> Heroes 4 It's a Chinese show 7 Hari okay. Mencinta Iku 2 Seven Days Something Love? I don't know. World of the Married, Parasite, and Line Walker 3. Orang. Joe Biden, Kamala Harris, Kim Jong-un, Donald Trump, Poo Riz. I don't know who that is. Sports. English Premier League, NBA, IPL 2020, Champions League, India versus New Zealand. <laughs> yeah. yeah, very different, I guess. That's just... Malaysia versus America. I mean, clearly we're united in cooking while during the pandemic. Yeah. And, and we all care about stimulus checks. Yeah. Exactly. And coronavirus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Andrew says seven days of loving me. That was the Malaysia. Oh. Yeah. Oh. It is... sounds better translated. <laughs> seven days of loving me. Like... Is it a movie about really? masturbation? <laughs> That'll be seven days of loving myself. Ah, oh. me, myself, and I. Okay. Same. <laughs> the Malaysia's version of like five hundred days of summer. Maybe. <laughs> oh, except that you're so tired that you just do it only for seven days instead of five hundred. Yeah, days. like we give up easily. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> You know, I rewatched 500 Days of Summer earlier this year. It's, it's still a good film. Holds up, I feel. And, uh, yeah, it's kind of sad. But also entertaining. Is this the one with Joseph Gordon-Levitt? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. I have not seen it. I have no idea what the plot is even about. Not even once? Nope. Oh, I, uh, there's I mean, a whole segment of movies I just didn't watch. Okay. I mean, I, I feel it's worth watching at least once. Oh, okay. It's a love story, and it's, like, kind of realistic. I guess I was going okay. through, like, heartbreak while watching it, so... Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh speaking of emo-ness, I was reading your, your entry for the latest entry for oh. your blog, and I was like, wow! <laughs> At first, it started out kind of normal, and it kind of descended into emo-ness that I wasn't expecting. <laughs> Did you finish reading the whole thing? I finished reading the whole thing. Yeah. Wow, it was like seven k like words. I was like, <laughs> and I typed it, it at wait, like one night. Hmm, did I finish the whole thing? Because I I only read what the your email pushed to me. Well, I think so. It should be a whole thing. I don't know. It didn't feel like seven thousand words, so let me double check. It's that entertaining. Yeah, but. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. No, I read the whole thing. Yeah, you did. Yeah. 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 I mean, WordPress said it was 7K. Yeah. No, really? there's no way this is 7K words. This is wrong. No, this is not 7K. Yeah. Me and, me and Singye, we're, we're, we're good at looking at the word count going, Oh, oh no, yeah. we haven't met it yet. Okay, wait. <laughs> let, let, let me open WordPress and see. I mean, this is 700 words. Let's see here. It's 1,455 according to Google Docs. 1,004? Okay. Yeah. Then what was I looking at? The number of people who read it. No, don't have that many wow. people reading my blog, man. <laughs> uh, yeah, I got 1,400-ish huh. words too. Weird. Okay. Then maybe I was looking at the wrong stat. Yeah. Or maybe it was mm. characters. <laughs> oh, it could be. Characters is 7,500. Ah, okay. Oh, there you go. There we go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I didn't know WordPress shows My character count. Yeah, sh they show both. They, oh, they do? Yeah. Oh, okay, I didn't know. Authenticate. But, yeah. Hey. Hmm? 
Yeah, I mean, I I just I decided I had to do at least one a month for my blog, so it won't be dead. And yeah, yeah. you feel good about it. <laughs> yeah, thirtieth post of the year. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> But yeah, I mean. Why do you say way past the halfway point in life, though? How many years do you expect to live? Forty. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, seven K characters. Okay, I was looking at the wrong thing. Thousand four words. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, anyway, I, I thought the ending was uh, unnecessarily emo. <laughs> 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 yeah. Well, what about cats and teeth? <laughs> no, the one before that. <laughs> yeah. How come you don't have any This... pets? Are you planning to get pets? No. I didn't get a cat. Really. Yeah, I gave my cat to my friend who wanted another cat for her cat. Oh right. Yeah. No, I mean I like the idea of a pet, but to be honest, it is quite freeing to not have to look after another thing, and then also have to pay money every month to look after it. Oh, you're not planning on having kids. We can go on. <laughs> no, I do not plan to have children <laughs> at this at this moment in time. Oh. Yeah, like um, you know, and we can just travel whenever we want. Would you adopt, or would you get like uh, artificially inseminated? Yeah, babies. Yeah. If I were to have children, uh-huh. I don't know. I'll decide that. Well, actually, no. Actually, it's dangerous, right? Like one decision can be made has to be made soon. <laughs> one can be made much later. Um, I guess you could freeze your eggs rate, first, right? Yeah, but then like your <laughs> um, womb vitality is not. Even now, I'm actually I'm. I know I'm getting too old. No, I mean you get a surrogate mother. Like, yeah, I know some people do that, right? You pay yeah. someone in, in mm-hmm. India to give birth for you. I don't know. That seems kind of um. Not saying judging anyone who does that, but it's mm-hmm. not something for me. Okay, no, I mean <laughs> just wondering. Like, I I, yeah. I don't know any surrogate mothers, but the concept seems so weird. Like, what if you give birth to the child and then you grow attached to it? You're like that's I mean, my baby. Point, that's mine. I'm not gonna give it away. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh. I, I guess they are, there are people who are professional surrogates who are, know how to not get attached. Oh, okay. So you mean they do it like multiple times? Isn't it like quite yeah. stressful on the body? Yes. I mean, I isn't it, it like before. being a regular mother? With many kids. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah, but yeah, you're not keeping any of them. So less stress. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, less <laughs> stress over time, but nah. Uh, yeah. yeah, I'm sure they get paid well, right? Like, I don't know what the fees are, but I don't assume it's cheap. How much do surrogates get paid? Fifty <laughs> uh, to eighty thousand. Okay, divide that by nine months. What is that? So that's like uh, often from like poorer countries where the money goes further. This is a website it's called West Coast Surrogacy. Okay, so it's in the U.S. It's like eight k a month. That's pretty good, right? E- yeah, I guess. Yeah. Shorter than some group oh. buys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean, come on, like, get 8k just to deliver a baby. I don't know. <laughs> Actually, do you get paid if the baby dies, like, while delivering? So. <laughs> I would hope so. Or it's not even your fault if it dies. They could. Pay I mean, like, you, if I mean, you like, didn't do, if like you didn't look after yourself during the pregnancy. Yeah, it could be seen as your fault, right? True. Yeah, but I feel like you also have to pay not only the person, but you pay for all of their care. So it's kind of like you're not even having to pay for that. Why wouldn't you look after your own body, right? I mean, maybe like they just take the money and then like they, you know, like money meant to buy food or whatever, and they just 
uh, buy cheaper stuff or you know. Oh no! I, I think people who would do this in the U.S. are not that like <laughs> to go through all that. I don't think they're that malintentioned. Hmm. Yeah. Maybe. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a topic for which we have no understanding nor expertise. <coughs> yeah, so maybe Andrew, you can chime in. He's a Guyanese, by the way. <laughs> oh really? Yeah, he oh. is. So, like, he's the person to go to when we have questions about. Oh, I see. Hmm. Pregnancy and fertility. <laughs> oh, I see. How I'm, useful. Yeah. In the in the meantime, uh, we've reached the halfway mark, so we mm-hmm. can plug our sponsor. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, uh, if you're feeling like you need something to wake you up and get you into a productive mood why not give flow state coffee a shot exactly. S- yeah. so <laughs> two of my friends have tried it and here's the thing i was very skeptical <laughs> and i was totally like you know you you know you should try it i'm not saying it does anything but they they, they do say that number one it tastes much better than you thought it would taste like and like you know number two the people who normally don't drink coffee said they really liked it because it's not completely like coffee so like which i thought was an interesting comment Hmm. um and then like number three like i think they she drank it before playing video games and and uh, she never really answered as to whether i gave her better focus or not but she was very excited to try to you know drink it before she plays her video games (laughs) so (laughs) what a glowing testimonial (laughs) i know (laughs) <laughs> yeah, should give it a shot. Maybe your DPS will go up and while sing it. Exactly. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> Flow state coffee, coffee with L theanine, raw cacao is your go to morning beverage to lower anxiety, improve brain function, support creativity and productivity. Perfect to kick start mm-hmm. a creative morning and maintain optimal productivity through your workday at the office or at home. Drink wherever your yeah. brain needs an energizing flow state. So if you use um the link uh down below here in our uh, stream, you get ten percent off your order. And uh f- free delivery if you order two bags. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so what are you waiting for? Get your flow state coffee. Yes. Check yeah. it out. <laughs> yeah, and then he's probably gonna have new products coming out soon as well. Yeah. So we'll see. Is he thinking of like yeah. going on Joe Rogan? <laughs> I think that that would be his dream. Yeah. Um, however, I feel like Joe Rogan's reputation has really taken a nosedive. You think so? Um, <laughs> lately, I think someone described him as the Gwyneth Paltrow for men. <laughs> that's pretty much the worst I could have. It's oh. of goop. It's the alpha brain, like on it stuff. That's pretty harsh. Um, <laughs> yeah, exactly. And he's become sort of like a really big right winger and. You know, just and then he's also become quite a coronavirus denier as well. I heard so for me, his reputation took it after he moved to Spotify. I don't yes, think, and also really? he started like, um, just inviting more and more like controversial people and like just sort of saying that, oh, you know, if you're scared of coronavirus, you're a pussy, but that's because he has the money to like get tested every single day and like hide in away in his bunker in in Texas. Yeah, so he it's moved sort to of Texas. Like, he's become very detached from the ordinary person's point of view. <laughs> so his, the the people's opinion has turned against him. Okay. I don't know, for me I felt mm-hmm. he's always just invited controversial guests just for publicity. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And like yeah, well maybe we're just too slow to see through the game until now. We're like, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> but also, I felt like his stance on things always like flip flops based on the guests. True. He's, like true. I mean, he he's he does say it like he just does it to like better communicate with the guests. So mm-hmm. I don't. I mean, I don't know if it's an act or if he's really that indecisive or whatnot. But I mm-hmm. guess whatever gets people to listen to his stuff. I mean, I get it, right? Like, if you if you agree with your guests, then they'll be more inclined to open up to you. Yeah. Right. They won't try to fight you on your views, right? And then it'll be a very unproductive podcast. Yeah. Like you want them to like really open up, right? So you just go along with what they're saying. Mhm. Mhm. 
I don't know, maybe well, at some point this... he, he started believing it too. I don't know. How tall is Joe Rogan? Not tall, yes. right? He looks short. Like 5'6", five, 5'7", five, I don't know. Sing it, what do you guess? Uh, is that like trick question? Is he really tall? 5'5", <laughs> five, five, <laughs> I guess. 5'5". Five, five, five. Five. <laughs> oh gosh. No, he's 5'7". Five, seven. He's 5'7". Five, seven. Oh, okay. oh, okay. I got it right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's yeah. not tall. But he's so buff, no, though. He's very wide. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His shoulders are like. Is five seven shot? Is, is that is that considered shot? Five seven shot, dude. You're like For five dude, eleven. Right? On no. <coughs> You're my height, aren't you? Aren't you six I'm, foot? No, aren't dude, you both uh, six foot? I'm, I'm I'm five seven. I am one seven five cm. That's not five so seven, uh, dude. Five, five eleven. Uh. Five foot eleven inches. I don't know. Really? Yeah. I'm looking at, I'm looking at Google. Uh, it's 175 cm in feet. No, no, that's just feet. Like feet plus oh, inches. Oh, right. Yeah. Uh, it's 12 inches in a foot. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so... It's, really? Is it say 511? That's the last time like I checked one of those measuring things. Uh, calculate me. F- 175 cm is 5 feet 8.89 inches. 8.9? Yeah. Oh, well, you can round it up. So you're 5 foot 9. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, but you look a lot taller though. I'm kind of surprised. I thought you were closer to 5'11 as well. So you got that going for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you George. You're like, yeah, you taller than me. I mean, when I measured, I was like 5'11". No, I mean, like, in, do you remember in CM? CM? I, I thought it was 175, but now you're telling me it's not... Maybe higher than? I know I'm not 6'0". I'm, like, I'm, like, I'm like looking at multiple... Uh, I can check my, my passport. Hang on. <laughs> and it all says 5.8... 5, 5 oh. feet 8.89 inches. So we're being generous so- and 5'9". Yeah. So I got like free breakfast from the hotel, but nowadays, like because of coronavirus, they only give you prepackaged stuff. And they were like, "Oh, you can pre-order what you want." And I was like, "Okay, I want a PB and J sandwich." Okay, I, I just checked my passport. Like, I'm 180 oh, okay. cm. 180. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty good. Is that 511? Uh, this is my. PB and J sandwich, which oh. is a circle that's like about this small. Times wow, it's two. by Skippy. Yeah, I thought Skippy was like a Malaysian brand. No, it's international. Ah, <laughs> I, mean, I did US, not know. I yeah, I mean, I've been eating Skippy yeah. for the longest time. It is also my favorite. Uh, I guess, I guess you are five, almost. I guess you can round it up, lah. What is it? One eighty cm is five feet ten point eight six inches. Ah, uh, okay. So, no, no, because yeah. like when you, you go to measure it. it at the air, uh passport thing, like they have that tape on the wall. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, that's how I knew I was five eleven. So yeah, you're a generous. I mean, that's what the, the thing said, right? Well, I mean, obviously they're not going to be like <coughs> point whatever line. So yeah. Just round it up. Yeah. So for me, it'll be five nine lah. Yeah. I thought you were my heart. Uh, I don't know. I guess I guess not. Uh, yeah, Andrew says he's five eleven. No, five ten, one seven eight cm. He's one seven eight. Yeah, I don't know. I always thought he was my height too. I thought everyone's my height. One seven eight <laughs> is five ten five five feet ten point oh seven nine. Uh. Not even close, Andrew. Not even close. <laughs> I mean, then he's taller than you, though. <coughs> he looks. I mean, he's taller than me. But he looks taller, like, he looks way taller. I guess because he's really skinny. Yeah, I thought you were my oh, height, though. Yeah. That's the thing. Oh, so he, he has that lanky look going for him. Yeah. He used to be really skinny. He's still quite skinny. I mean, now you can see, like... What do you guys think of girls who say six feet uh, and above only? Uh, I don't know, I mean... Um, I don't know. I mean, I can't tell whether someone's six foot or tall or not. I'm not for them, I guess. <laughs> I mean, like, uh, it's not something that I can do anything about, right? So there's no point getting upset about it. Yeah. 
think it's a very unreasonable requirement. <laughs> no, I mean some some uh like people online they like respond by asking girls their weight. You know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and they get no upset. One wins. Yeah, no one wins. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew says, "Tall girls are cool, but none have ever liked me." Ha 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 ha. Aww. <laughs> well, I, and okay, here's the thing. I feel like you know people shouldn't be upset when asked what their weight is. Okay, so here's the thing. Like my my gym coach and I had this argument because he said that women are so vain and so self conscious. And like in a bad way because if he asks everybody in the gym how much they weigh, he's sh- certain that the women will get upset and the guys will not. Yeah. And I was like, oh, no, but I think it's like to... the, it's the, it's the implications behind your questioning, like, and the mm-hmm. context too, right? If like, if mm-hmm. I was a gym trainer, as asking people mm-hmm. how much they weigh, it's not mm-hmm. because I want to like go out with them or you know, I was just mm-hmm. trying to assess their physical health or whatever. Right. Yeah, but I think it's just like this: the self consciousness of am I fat, right? And then like, oh. the, the, the yeah, but if, if I ask you in like a dating app, then it's kind of like I'm trying to screen you. So then oh, I guess, yeah, like, I guess true. then you might have the right to be upset, right? Like, who are you to screen me, right? Yeah. But right, girls are trying to screen guys based on their height. So yeah. Ooh, right. You guys should guess. You guys should guess how much do you think I weigh? <laughs> I think that's- I don't know. My uh, 2021 goal is to be more honest in this podcast. No, but then I don't know. Like, I, I don't know. I can't. It's hard for me to, like, uh, guesstimate girls. You have I wear too many baggy clothes. And I, I'm at a. Actually, she said when she first met me, I'm an amorphous shape with uh, the <laughs> colors. <laughs> she said how I dressed. <laughs> I, was like, I, I would think you're, like, 60 plus. Because you, oh, like. I don't do it in KG. Well, I don't know pounds. And the convert. Okay, let me let me do a. Uh, uh, I did the conversion. Okay, I will. Here. <laughs> I will say oh, that's you very are. Kind of you. I'm way beyond that. <laughs> really, I was gonna say you're 127 pounds. No. Oh my gosh, you guys are so off. <laughs> no. See, that's the thing like... about uh, about girls, right? Like. Uh huh. Like when you see like um. Oh, you guys are complimenting me or like. <laughs> no, no, because because some girls, right? When like when you look at like um, girls that are like I guess considered fat, and then like when you see how much they weigh, they're like I'm eighty kilos or like seventy five, and then you look at a guy who weighs eighty or seventy five, and he looks like really skinny compared to girls, oh. right? So yeah, like it, it throws fat. me off a little, you know. Uh, well. Yeah. Then I can't decide whether it's good or bad that you guess I'm lighter than I really am. I'm like between, um, oh wait, I have to do this and I have to do the conversion. Are you 154 pounds? <laughs> I'm somewhere between uh, 65 and like 67 kg. Oh, okay. Yeah. 100. And I would like to think it's because I'm very dense and full of muscles or whatever, but in reality... Is that considered to be <laughs> like heavy a or girl? Subcutaneous fat. <laughs> hmm? Is that considered like heavy for a girl? Um, I would say I'm actually already leaning a little towards like heavier on the BMI side. But I am a little bit more muscular than the average girl, I like to think. But my body fat percentage is pretty terrible. Like it's nowhere near what I want it to be. So, I don't know. Some days I'm like, damn, I'm almost a third fat. That's not good. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew yeah. says. So, so my New Year's resolution. Oh, oh go on. Oh no, no, he said he thinks it's damn cool. You have packed meals for your hotel. I think we're still having oh. breakfast buffets. Yeah. Actually, well, I don't know. No, it's because coronavirus is so terrible in California. Do you mean stuck. like? Do you mean like it's a good thing that they are being Bothering. careful? It is or right. Like, yes. or like, no, I mean, uh, uh, does he mean like it's a good thing? Cause. It's like variety, you know? Uh, oh, you have something different from the rest of us. I think he means health. He said COVID is going to hit us damn hard. And then I, oh, asked, okay. I asked, why is COVID going to hit us hard? Hasn't it already? He said it's going to get worse, man. In Malaysia? Really? But you guys are getting the vaccines. I don't faster, know. Though. And you can vaccinate everyone a lot faster. Because people in America are not going to want to be vaccinated. You're going to have to... <laughs> Terrible coverage. That means we'll run out of vaccines quicker, so we have to wait. 
Yeah, but your your entire <laughs> population is the population of only California in the U.S. Oh, uh, that is true. <laughs> so it's a lot faster. So you guys will be fine, and you won't have to eat like like. Oh, the yo. Calories in this is 230 calories for two tiny circles. Can you believe that? You don't have to eat two. Anyway, speaking of <laughs> that, this is how you get fat. No, but eating that <coughs> is not enough. I know, but it's sad. It's like a small. No, it I looks, like a mac- well. looks like a macaron. It does. It's like a macaron <laughs> version of a PB and shake. Which yeah, so my, my realistic New Year's resolution is that for lunch this year, I'm going to try to have a soup and salad. Okay. I'm not saying it's going to be a healthy salad, but at least it's vegetables. <laughs> Every lunch? Like soup. I'm going to try to skim the fat off. Are, are you going to have that for it? every lunch? Or just like certain uh, yeah, days? Yeah, but it's like, kind of like I'm not going to eat the same soup and salad. Um, only on weekdays, probably, because it's easier to control. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah. you start somewhere. So, so it's That's a fine. Low key, low key resolution. That's all I do these days. Oh, and Andrew gets you at 145 pounds. Oh, very good. Very on the dot. Yeah, I guess oh. that's why he's a doctor. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I have weighed people like you before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and I'm like barely five foot five. More like five foot four and a half. Okay. On a good day. <laughs> yeah, so definitely. I don't know. I used to be like, there was a time where I did lose a, like quite a lot of weight. I was closer to like 138 pounds or something like that. Um, When I was trying to make weight for weightlifting, mm-hmm. I was like, oh, maybe I can be a smaller category. But I feel like lately I've been trying to focus on just getting my strength back. So I haven't been cutting. So I'm just like perma bulking is what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, that's, that's my strategy too. <laughs> yeah. Soon you'll be all muscle exactly. and no fat. Yeah. <laughs> I wish it worked that way. In reality, <laughs> it's like gaining, which is not good. So eventually, I'll have to be more judicious. Yeah. I don't know, but I noticed that lately, um, this is again dating to a TMI territory, which is my resolution for this year. Um, to do more TMI? I, yeah, to be more PMI. I was <laughs> I was eating this like super high fat dessert called kunefe. Have you guys had it? It's like a Middle Eastern thing. Not heard of like, it. Like, fluffy eating. pastry. Not heard of okay. pastry and stuff. It's drowned. It's essentially like a baklava. It's like drowned in syrup, oh, and butter. Okay. Um, yeah, and I immediately had diarrhea the moment after I <laughs> ate it. It was like clockwork. And then like I was eating um, a super oily fried chicken sandwich um, yesterday, and it happened again. Yeah. So I think my body has a reaction to super oily foods, just like George now. Okay. Do you think it's spread so, through the podcast? <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's contagious. It was so freaky though. I was like, wow. It's like my body immediately knew that this is bad for you. Yeah. And must evacuate it immediately. Isn't that good? Isn't that a good thing? In a way, yes. I think it really does make me... Well, maybe I'm like George, where like I just think, am I going to be at home when I eat this? <laughs> like, at home, it should be okay. I can run to the toilet. <laughs> if I'm not a dirty toilet, then no, I'm not eating that. <laughs> I was salad at the mama. <laughs> exactly. Uh, so, I don't know. Maybe it's good. My body has this, these extreme reactions now. Yeah. Yeah. I mean... I think it's fine as long as it's not like a constant trip to the toilet the whole day, like just one time. It's a one time thing. Yeah, then that's fine. Like, yeah, mm-hmm. one and done. I I I hate it. I, uh-huh. I think we researched before, right? How many times? Like, I, are you supposed person? to go a day? Like, yeah, that, that's normal. That's no correct thing. Yeah, there was no like. Yeah, there was no like universal answer. As as long as you're consistent, it's fine. So I guess I am consistent. <laughs> Are you guys planning to make any dietary changes for the year at all? Uh, not not me. Sing it. Uh, well, I mean, man. Actually, I've been eating a lot of vegetables guys- during the whole lockdown because we've been eating a lot at home, right? So. Mm. Uh, my mom would always cook at least one vegetable dish. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
Oh, um, lately I've been really getting into stir fried lettuce. <laughs> Which is a very oh. random thing. Lettuce is so it's like, good. No? It's like yama. Yeah, but then, yama. But then I, it's, I can't really find yama here, so I just use iceberg lettuce. Yeah, I mean they use that too here. <laughs> to achieve the same effect. You just pour oyster sauce oh, yeah, yeah. and like, like uh, fried onion. You like stir fried cabbage. Is, cabbage is pretty good. It is, but what I wanted is that effect of the, so, you know, that, that really watery sauce? Yeah. Uh, oh, which is right. essentially oyster sauce right. and garlic and, and soy sauce. Yeah. And I feel like it works really well with lettuce as a texture. Um, and it oh. doesn't work as well as with cabbage because you're like, oh, it's crunchy, super crunchy, and then like watery at the bottom. It doesn't work as well. I feel lettuce is oh. superior to cabbage. Me too, actually. Yeah. So much easier to chew and I know. digest. It's just better. <laughs> but like cabbage is like a nice crunch to it. It's like it's more fun to eat. Um. Yeah. In certain contexts, I think. Actually, really. I mean, I'm not saying I don't like it, but uh, I don't really enjoy yamak so much. Like, it's like you go baku day and then they order it. Heresy. And then I'm like, oh, this is really <laughs> <soggy, laughs> <soggy, laughs> <soggy, laughs> The soggy <laughs> power of vegetables. Oh man, no oh, man. man. That's so good. Yeah. Good cut. <laughs> no, I mean I have nothing here to taste. I think it tastes fine, but it, it would mm. it would not be my my choice, you know. <clears throat> oh, but oh, but the other advantage of yamak and lettuce is that you don't have to be a good cook because it's like what I don't like is when you stir fry vegetables and sometimes too much water comes out and that's actually not uh, a good thing. Uh -huh. But in this style, it's a good thing. It's yeah. Like, maybe screw up. It's still good. <laughs> so. I think it's but much it's more like so vegetable water is like I don't know it's kind of gross <laughs> <laughs> oh wow we but hit our style. peak of five viewers today oh, hello nice. yeah thanks for tuning in on a new year's day happy exactly. new year to all, everyone <laughs> happy, new year. happy new year yeah oh do you but sing if you watch this guy called internet Shaquille on YouTube he's in a, it's like a internet cooking guy as well oh no but he's like a sassy what, what, all right. He's called I mean, Internet Shaquille, which is a really weird name. Like Shaquille um, O'Neal? Yes, but he calls himself Internet Shaquille. I don't actually know if that's his real name or not. Internet um, Shaquille. Yeah, they're all super short, and they're not recipe videos, they're more like technique videos. So for example, here's the latest one about eating your vegetables and like the various different ways you can do it. Um, he also has ones about like how to optimize your burritos. So it's more about refinement and not about a specific recipe. I mean, quite, and he makes them really quick, like five minutes it's done. So I, I don't know why, but when you see Shaquille, I wasn't expecting this. Uh, a sassy Hispanic man. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and he's straight. Even though he <coughs> is really gay, he has like a super hot girl. Oh, such fiance now, I think. And that, that's oh, I don't. Like, I mean, I haven't seen the video surprising. yet. Yeah, watch it. It's really good. All right, I'll I'll check some of it out. Well, what was a good one to watch? Uh, I what's what's a gateway video? <laughs> uh, I think it depends on what you want to make. Like, just watch whatever attracts. I mean, you what what which was the one that got you like hooked to him? Oh gosh, um, I need to look. I think the one he did on crudités is actually really good, because I never thought about like different ways that you can make crudités. Um, Ooh, he also has okay. uh, <laughs> essentially it's just any vegetable with dip. It's called crudité, but it sounds really fancy when you say it that way. Oh right. <laughs> um, I think the burrito one's pretty good. I that opened my eyes as to why my burritos aren't as good as the restaurant ones. Oh yeah, the scramble um, eggs video. I like watching. I like watching people cook scramble eggs. Yeah. Shout out to Chung Sin that and one's okay. Alex. I remember that that one was average. Alex. Yeah. Um, and he does some things mm -hmm. where he's just, like doing a Kenji recipe, like the pota crispy potato one. It's just a uh, serious eats, but he shows you how to do it. Oh, why aren't your potatoes crispy enough? Yeah. Oh, okay. Cool. Oh, what happened to Brian Talbot? I know, right? I haven't heard from him in a while. It's the one, the, That's one a video a year. Man crush. Brian <laughs> Talbot? Talbot. Yeah. He's uh, based in Australia, I think. Writer, artist, Is comic, no. graphic artist. What? No, 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 not no. Um, it's a he's a chef. Yeah. Brian Talbot, chef. He makes really nice videos that are um very creative, I think, but very low yeah, production it, it, rate. <laughs> low production. I need to be high production. No. 
No, no, as in like uh, rate. As in he makes one like. Every oh right, right, right. How many it turns out? Yeah, yeah. Half a year. Oh, it's Byron. <laughs> I heard Brian. Oh, it's Byron. Yeah. Oh, it's Byron. Yeah. Oh, I thought it's Brian. Yeah. Well, now you know. Because yeah. <laughs> Brian Talbot is a oh, it's an Byron artist. Talbert. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, we, we always we always thinking Brian also person. No, I I know it's Byron because I remember thinking ah oh, that's a strange name. <laughs> you never corrected me. <laughs> oh, I just heard. I thought that's just how you pronounce Byron. <laughs> no, it's Byron and Brian is very different. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I guess I just hear what I want to hear. It's like me calling you Christine. Big problem in life. A lot of people call me Christine. Do you get bored by you that? <laughs> yeah. I've learned. Huh? Do you correct um, them? No, I don't correct people. Yeah. <laughs> I, um, I think I only. Uh, and sometimes they miss. It bothers me more when they misspell it. But even then, oh. I don't correct people. Like, how do you tell people how to spell your name? You say Christine without the E? No, I have to say the whole thing. Because, <laughs> like, it's just. No, there's no way people would get it correct. I have to be like, C H. <laughs> say the whole thing. It's like taking back Sunday. <laughs> cut cute without the e yeah. <laughs> exactly <laughs> i don't yeah. know maybe i should just go by my last name chong we should all only go by our last names wong call yeah, me wong chong wong and lee mm. chong wong yeah, lee. Yeah, really 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 whenever i'm in australia yeah. doing classes uh -huh. right and then there's like uh -huh. what's your name i just say oh it's lee it's lee <laughs> oh, no. oh no! You know, like, you know, just spend like a few minutes trying to like butcher my name and then i have yeah. to keep repeating it and i'm like ah <clears throat> Oh, oh, actually, even in Malaysia, right? Me. People get it wrong, right? They, they always say sing yep. Like I don't know why. <laughs> uh -huh. Like, is it cause like the U is next to the I on the keyboard or something? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that used to make you very pissed off when I type sing yep on her. <laughs> really? <laughs> yes, there was a time, and then me and George would do it repeatedly just to annoy you. Um, <laughs> sing yep. Oh, but recently we went fishing, right? And uh -huh. then they're, we're all like super masked up. Um, and then like this uh, couple started chatting with Yu Hong and then I was there too. And then um, the, the woman was like, oh, what's your name to Yu Hong? And she was like, oh, it's Yu Hong. And then she was like, oh, do you have a normal name? <laughs> and then I thought, oh my gosh, if she said that in the Bay Area, because we were like out of Nevada, yeah. like, that would be so offensive. And then like <laughs> later on, like, you know, after like a while, they were, you know, you know, we, we made friends and then like, you know, we finally took off our masks for a little bit um, uh, and while being socially distanced. And here's the thing. She was with her husband, who was obviously a big white guy. And then she was totally masked up. So I assumed that she was white, but actually she was Japanese. Because <laughs> 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 she has like a, like that, like super strong American accent that I was like, oh, she's been here for like several generations for sure. Yeah. But yeah, the way she said it was so American that I thought she was like white. And I realized, oh no, I was reverse racist. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, maybe she was born in America. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Probably. I don't know. Like she, she doesn't sound like first generation at all. Like yeah. at least second or third or even more. <coughs> I love Japanese people have been here for like seven generations. Hmm. So... But I thought it was super funny how I jumped to conclusions. And I was like, oh, I'm a racist <laughs> person. <laughs> but then, turns out, well, I don't know. Is it still racist? I don't know. I don't know. Like, everything can but be the thing is, I considered have, like, racist I feel now. a little bit guilty, you know? Like, I went to the bank the other day. And then the, the person who served me is, like, this young girl who has a Chinese name. I think it was um, Liu, Liu Yang Yang. Okay. And, and I remember on the phone, I was like, she was saying her name. I was like, what is it again? <laughs> I had a hard time figuring out her name on the phone. And I was like, oh, no, I'm a stereotypical white person who can't understand Chinese name. And then, <laughs> Yang you know, Yang. And I felt a little bit guilty because, you know, I go by, you know, my name. And, and I always feel like, you know, am I, like, doing, like, self-cultural erasure because I don't prefer to use my <laughs> Chinese name? <laughs> I don't know. George, <laughs> what do you think? George, obviously. <laughs> I mean, I grew up... No one ever used my Chinese name, not even my grandparents or my family. Oh, so, okay. yeah, it's I always see. been George. Andrew yeah, says yeah. they and then, and then, use your last name in hospitals. 
They, it's just fucking annoying when someone calls you, "Hey, you, you, come here," because <laughs> his surname is you. <laughs> and then yes. Chung Sin says, "At least they don't snap their finger and ask you to come." And uh, he asks you to oh, blow yeah. Baker oh, remember, vapes. They do the kissing noise. That's in Malaysia. Oh, right? oh the kissing noise. <laughs> I, I can't even do that. But they don't do that anymore, though. I, like, I never really hear them do it anymore. Oh, they don't? Interesting. I mean, I, have, I haven't really heard it for quite a while, though, to be Did honest. It suddenly become culturally unacceptable to me. Well, you haven't noise? been to the Mamak in a while. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll be at the mama, but I haven't been to the mama in a while, so I mean, you still need to do go it. and revive the noise. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. But but the thing is, I'm surprised you didn't go by Tyler when you were in Australia. Then. Oh. Or yeah, it's good. Uh, I thought you did. That's why you used the name Tyler. Because then, like, they start calling me Taylor because it's the Aussie. Yeah. <laughs> like Tyler. And you're like, no, Tyler. I'm Taylor Swift. Yeah. <laughs> you just gave up. <laughs> yeah, it's here. Yeah, it's just Lee. Lee. Oh. <laughs> I have told you before, I, like, one of my professors stereotyped me as being good at math. <laughs> oh. It's like, it was like explaining something. It's like, but you're good at math, right? And I was like, oh. <laughs> Ster- Asian stereotype fail on I so got many C for ad math. It doesn't make me good at math. <laughs> Uh. Oh, Chung Sin asked oh, you to uh. blow a bigger cloud, Singap. Oh. Can you do the smoke rain again? <laughs> I want to see the oh, rain. I'm under pressure. He's the vape master. Yeah. Yeah, thick enough. <laughs> trick to getting more like vape cloud isn't it just a bigger inhale i guess so uh it gives you uh i don't know actually does it because if like your initial hit is like very wispy then you'll just get more wispy clouds oh right i'm not sure i'm not the vape master (laughs) he said he's here for the vape show Uh. (laughs) oh (laughs) <laughs> all right well uh we've hit have an you? hour mark but yeah, yeah if you guys have any questions that. drop it in the chat i feel like we were getting a little anti-intellectual like, like not to diss ourselves or anything but i feel like when we first started the podcast we were really really good about talking about intellectual topics <laughs> and this is my fault because i tend to derail into whatever i want to talk about for the day instead of like harder topics it's okay so i was wondering like do the viewers like do they mind that we're just chatting compared to like they're just Hard here for the vape clouds. Life. <laughs> I know. Or is it just about vape clouds? Yeah. And I should get a vape pen. You should. <laughs> no, <but> I, <laughs> maybe they're just like, um, maybe just like everyone else, you know, they're just busy body about uh, eavesdropping on people's conversations. I guess so. So that's why I was thinking I'd be more TMI this year to make it more interesting. So it's yeah. like OnlyFans without the body. <laughs> <laughs> it's like only fans of the mind. Yeah, only, only minds. <laughs> Uh, exactly. Um, and then I have way too much ambition. I was like, oh, I need to be good about posting us across, you know, Anchor and things like that, and getting us more sponsors. Because I was signing up for affiliate things. <laughs> Actually, I signed up for an affiliate for Bookshop.org. If you guys want to buy books from there, but I don't know whether it works from Malaysia. Okay. Is yeah. it like Shop. pirated science Shop. papers? Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew said, "So that um, yeah, like, uh, online offline for for physical bookshops." Yeah, it's it's kind of trying to compete with Amazon. So essentially, you end up buying from independent bookstores. However, it is you know obviously more expensive and it takes yeah. longer to ship. Okay. So, so, there's, oh, so what's, uh, there's, what's the upside to this besides you're uh, supporting, supporting local bookshops? <laughs> oh. Oh, and also, like, they make it really easy for you to apply for an affiliate account. So, you know, oh, on right. Amazon, if you don't have a minimum, they close you really fast. Here, they don't. So, if I give you my link, I get a percentage. So, we can make one for evening drama. Yeah. I was thinking, like, that's what we should do, is just to have a billion more sponsors. <laughs> of course, of things that we like. Not, not just, like, you know, NordVPN. 
<laughs> well, I don't even use it. But... Surf shark. Andrew asks. Well, oh, oh, he says, "I'm here to see the hot chick and hot dudes." Thank you. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> Thank you. Ah. Uh. Chung Sin said. Uh, so the question old that is. We really like those compliments. <laughs> the question is: curry flavored shit or shit flavored curry? <laughs> Oh, uh, hmm. Shit favorite curry, obviously. Shit favorite curry. Yeah, I don't want to get sick. <laughs> yeah, because you're still eating curry, it just tastes really bad. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I have to wonder what you put in it to make it taste like shit, though. <laughs> That's yeah. true. Well, then again, yeah, I haven't that's tasted that's shit the before. Where he made shit favorite uh, yogurt. How? Oh, and then people I have started to watch visiting. That. Yeah, and then people started really going to that yogurt shop, so it really worked. <laughs> Poop yogurt. Okay, yeah. wow, it's a YouTube episode. I'll check it out. Exactly. <laughs> Such a good uh, episode. Uh, Chung Sin oh. says we should get a vape company to sponsor us. Yeah, I'll, I'll try to re reach out to Vape I'm Empire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You guys should get a local one. Yeah, where, vape. Where, yeah, where, vape. Actually, where do you currently get your vape? Vape Empire. Well, it's the place yeah. to be. <laughs> <laughs> you pay us like 10 cents per puff. Oh, wow. Okay, Chung Sin asks, what do you guys think about the COVID vaccine? Any anti-vax out there? Oh, gee. I think I'm totally not anti-vax. I'm like, I want an ASAP. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll definitely wait to see like, um, what, like the side effects. Yeah, but like, if it's safe, I'll definitely take it. Like, there's no question about it. I'm hundred percent sure. By the time I get it, we would have already seen all the side effects. Because I don't think I'm gonna get it anytime soon. So that's why I'm not worried at all. That is true. Oh no, I don't know. Like, how does it work though? Like, if the virus mutates, does the vaccine still work? Mm, I think if it's a small mutation, it'll still work. But if it's a large one, then yeah, it won't work anymore. But at this rate, like, I think we're just gonna have to be churning out vaccines all the time. That's just how the the world's gonna be. Yeah. I don't know. I anyway, wish, shouldn't we be uh, asking a real country... doctor like Andrew this question and not <laughs> uninformed <Yeah>. citizens? <laughs> That's true. Okay, Andrew's typing in don't chat. Don't believe in random people. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. I forgot which country it was, but they were saying that I think it was US. Maybe they were saying that um, you need they need to hit like eighty five percent of the population to get vaccinated before they can yeah. like even hit herd immunity. Right, and we need everyone's <coughs> two doses. I think it's only sixty something percent yeah. for the first dose and ninety something for the second. So, yeah, that was that. That was that. Um, is it the nurse? Mm -hmm. Um, he got a he got a first dose, and then he yeah. got he got COVID after that. Yeah, exactly, and everyone took it out of context. So yeah, because like it just decreases your chance, right? Mm -hmm. It doesn't like make you immune straight away. Exactly. Right, Andrew's explaining. Our vaccine yeah. is the Pfizer vaccine. Basically, yeah. the Pfizer vaccine is an mRNA vaccine. There's no mm -hmm. COVID virus. It targets mm -hmm. a protein on the surface of the COVID virus. So when you mm -hmm. get the vaccine, it will make your body think you have the protein on the surface of the COVID virus, but you don't have the COVID virus. I'm confused. <laughs> right. That, that sounds much space safer because usually they use an inactivated form of the virus mm -hmm. or, 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 or a weakened form. So now it's not even a virus. It's something that looks like it. Okay. And then your body attacks it and remembers, okay, I got to attack something that looks oh, okay. like that. Then your body will make antibodies aiming at that protein. So it's like teaching your body the theory. Yeah. And then your exactly. body like does. I, I feel like... like Nice I'm so proud mm. that we have such an educated audience. Like yeah. I, I don't actually, I want to really emphasize. That should be our tagline: the show doctors watch. <laughs> exactly. Oh man, oh. I really love that. Andrew, please get all your doctor friends to watch our show. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the explanation, Andrew. Exactly. That was yeah. really, really good. Yeah, so I keep smarter. If you get the COVID virus, your body will see the protein on the COVID virus and say, Hey, I remember this protein. It's bad. You're an asshole. Fuck off. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, that's a great explanation. Yeah. I, I guess it's, we're like preloading antivirus mm -hmm. for when the day comes when we get exposed to it. 
Mm-hmm. So does that mean like it will it will always remember like regardless of the mutation? Assuming all the COVID have that same protein, I guess. If the mutated yeah. ones don't cool. have it's it, it's like a yeah. lock and key kind of thing. Like the key, the lock. I'm sorry, the key has to be pretty close to the lock. But has some. Because I know, like one of the concerns of like the vaccine that some people had was that um, you might have to take it every year, like the flu shot. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like um, I think the flu, the flu shot is definitely mutation based. Hmm. Um, I guess we but don't then, know like, yet. Uh, but then, like I read, like was last year or something, like IBM was using their AI to Ugh. predict the mutations. So, like you so get this, this, this is totally an aside. This is like totally not scientific at all. Or, or but the thing is, like one time I was at a party, and then like my friends' friends are all like work for IBM Watson, and they were all kind of douchey. So I'm, oh. I was since then, <laughs> I have a poor impression. <laughs> Okay, he's really smart. Andrew but, says... No, if, but I think... Oh, no. Uh, he said, if the COVID virus mutates and does not have the protein, then the vaccine does not work. But from research, oh. this protein is the thing that makes COVID infectious. So if it mutates to not have this protein, theoretically, it should be less infectious. So I guess it's a good thing. Yeah. Well, he, he said he doesn't know which vaccine US is endorsing. He was talking about the I one Malaysia that... was like, like multiple or so, right? I thought Malaysia was yeah, doing like the final bank. We have the so? Pfizer, the Moderna one as well, which is also mRNA based, I think. Um, mm. But it's a mystery. Like, I don't know what, you know, I would get. They sound like sport cars. In the New York Times, I'm like last in line, so. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, anyway, um, with the new year, I'm choosing a new word. Okay. Of the year. Oh yeah, you also s- fire that. campfire. Was it? It was hearth. It was hearth, right? Yeah. <laughs> but, but then, uh, yes. Yeah. What's your twenty twenty one? I'm working on the new year. No, I, I will reveal that in in a bit because like the key is you cannot just simply decide. Like, okay. You can really sure. think about it. Yeah. But I have one in mind, but I'm I'm also gonna update my website. Then 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 it's the <laughs> yearly update your website. <laughs> Not updated for the second half of the year <laughs> exercise. Okay, well, I mean, yeah, I think it's so, good to have a word uh, to yes, like center yes. yourself and have something to work exactly. towards. Exactly. Yeah, I'll so think you of guys a word come as up well. With the word. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, uh, mine's gonna be mythology based. Uh-huh. So. Yeah. Zeus. I Jesus. feel like I feel like uh, <laughs> 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 this should be something up to Ali as well. It's very new gaming ish. Yeah. Oh. Anansi. <laughs> uh, I have not read the Anansi boy. Sorry, it's on my to list forever. I know. <laughs> Andrew says, oh. "Yeah, it's a good thing." Sing yep, and also our Pfizer vaccine is two shots. Chung Sin asks, "How's my back? Oh. It's good. Uh, I think I can't remember. I think one or two days after I saw you, uh, I went to the pharmacy. I got the." medication and then i i felt better after that yeah oh what you get uh they gave me some muscle relaxant and painkillers oh did you mm. feel good like good good no no on it? <laughs> it, it just <laughs> uh like removed the pain which was good that, that oh, was like okay okay more than enough for me addictive. yeah then okay. the following day uh i felt fine and i haven't taken oh. them since yeah I've never yeah, had those they... feel good painkillers before. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they're easy to get in Malaysia. <laughs> I guess like, I guess just being not in pain in general is, feels pretty good. Yeah. yeah. So like even Panadol well, like... makes you feel pretty good. Yeah. It's all relative, I had a right? Headache, so. <laughs> oh. <sighs> I don't know. I mean, like you have a headache and you pop Panadol, then when it goes away, you're like, oh shit, it feels awesome. I know. Yeah, it feels yeah. awesome. That's but what happened to me. You're back in your normal state as opposed to in pain. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Did the Yoko Yoko make a difference? It did. I mean, but it was only temporary, I know. Like, uh-huh. it just relieved the pain yeah. at the moment. Yeah. But uh, since then, yeah, I've been fine. And I learned how to, like, sleep properly with a bolster. I think I mentioned this. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You linked this to the article. I did read it. I was <laughs> oh. like, yes, I do believe in the whole, like, knee pillow situation. Yeah. <laughs> 
so i mean i've been doing that with a bolster like put it in between uh-huh. my legs yeah and it's helped get you a waifu pillow yeah she gave you a waifu pillow <laughs> enjoy it in more ways than one get one with a hole right <laughs> exactly yeah. oh. all right all right well thank you world for listening <laughs> yeah oh. oh all right and and singing and george i need to talk to you about rescheduling for next week oh yeah sure oh, okay wait chungsun has one yeah. final question uh oh great what is everyone's new year's resolution well we discussed this funny. <laughs> no we discussed it last week wait let me and then also up. earlier today, but we are always adding new resolutions. I think <laughs> mine was to eat more stupid salad for lunch. Uh, Kristen um, was uh, buy only useful stuff and spend it on stocks. Write a piece of software that people will use and yes. pay for. Profits to a good cause. Thank you for recording this. I really can't escape out of this. <laughs> <laughs> Sing it. Uh, lose weight, swim, get back into calligraphy, and for me, uh, finish Animal Bus, start a new comic. Yeah. 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 We're all very <laughs> ambitious people. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Yeah. If you want to declare your resolution, we can also announce it online so you will not forget it. <laughs> yeah, you can type it in a chat and we'll save it for posterity. They say that accountability and and like fear of losing face is one of the like, <laughs> <laughs> motivators. Yeah, we'll read it aloud next week and then uh you can have the video to forever remind yeah. you. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> maybe we will revisit it it's like oh about viewers resolutions did you do it oh yeah <laughs> I, that's true we can always like go back and pull up an old yeah. episode you <laughs> pay us like a monthly subscription we remind you <laughs> yeah <sighs> alright uh, okay. thank you Will for tuning in and uh, we'll see yeah. you next week take care and have a great year or week day Everyone. Bye. All right. Goodbye. See you.